Welcome to Inside Stuff with Martin Sorogia this week. We will focus on Abuja and the law interpreters. Everywhere you go, on all the pages you open, you see people talking about Abuja and the 25% that the uh, constitution recommends for candidates to be president of Nigeria. People are now divided. People are disregarding even already written laws. People are not reading the constitution. People are not also uh, reading what the Supreme Court has already given to us about that aspect of our constitution. But that is not the focus. The law still remains what the Supreme Court says it is. We are not there, but I just want to draw the attention of the nation to the fact that we are talking about the capital of the Federation, Abuja, 47 years old now. That is the gift that the late General Moltala Mohammed gave the nation in 1976, 3rd February to be precise. Now we are worried about the status of Abuja. It means Abuja has no status. Despite the fact that sections 299 to 304 give us uh, some definition, it's still not clear, it's still equivocal. It's not clear, that is why people are discussing it. I just want to draw the attention of the incoming government to the fact that we need to remove that aspect of uh, the, uh, uh, the puzzle that we are dealing with. We need democracy for Abuja because at the moment, the leadership of Abuja is not elected as we have in so many state capitals in the world. The minister is appointed by the president according to the recommendation of the constitution. So the minister is in the president's office. It's not accountable to anybody, it's accountable to the president. And this is not good enough. Some people are even saying, why should they talk about 25% of Abuja, which makes Abuja super residents to be above all? No, that is not the issue. We just want to draw the attention of the nation, as I said earlier, to the fact that Abuja has no status at this moment. In 1993, military president, General IBB, set up a committee of 11 people, headed by the then President Court of Appeal, the late Justice Mama Nastri. And the secretary to that committee is the outgoing governor of Kano State, Umar Abdullahi Ganduje, now Dr. Umar Abdullahi Ganduje. The committee did not conclude its assignment. It submitted uh, its report, but no decision was taken. And then in 2018, there was a declarative judgment of the Court of Appeal, which says Abuja should be regarded as a state and an indigent of Abuja should be a member of the Federal Executive Council till the present. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has refused or even failed to comply with that declarative judgment. And so there is no indigent on the Federal Executive Council. But here is the deal. There is need for the National Assembly, that is the Tenth Assembly, to do something about the status of the Federal Capital Territory as defined by that section 303 to 304, that the status of Abuja, the administrative and other things should be as defined by an act of the National Assembly. 24 years on, there is no act to define the administrative and political status of Abuja. This is what I think we should focus on after the settlement of the 25% democracy. That's all I have for you this week. But then, drop your thoughts in the comment section of The Guardian TV. Thanks for watching.